Welcome back to Visions. On any given day, there are about 6,000 patients looking for a life-saving bone marrow donor. Michelle Macon is a 26-year-old San Francisco resident who is afflicted with the life-threatening acute myeloid leukemia. She now faces a time-sensitive search for a bone marrow donor match. Project Michelle was formed in her support with grassroots teams established all across the country, including right here in Houston. The goal of the project, Michelle, is to increase the t uh, number of Asian Americans and other minority national donor marrow registrants. And I want to welcome Project Michelle organizer and the brother-in-law of Michelle, Dr. Duke Lee. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, tell us a little bit about Michelle and her Houston ties. Um, she's married to my brother. Um, they met in college at Berkeley. My brother is from uh, the Sugarland area. He went to high school at, at Clements before going to school at Berkeley. So very, very close family ties here. But the project is going across the country. And I guess, tell us, what is the number one goal? Obviously, to find her a donor. Correct. So Michelle was diagnosed with uh, leukemia last year in uh, February of 2007. Um, she went through her first round of chemotherapy last year, and by the fall of 2007, was disease-free. Unfortunately, she relapsed uh, in May of this year, and uh, the only way to save her life at this point is to find a bone marrow a match. And no one in the family is a match? No, unfortunately, she has two younger sisters and a younger brother, and nobody matches in her close family. So we've occasionally heard about these stories before. Now the effort goes out trying to find a match in, in the community at large, and I guess being a minority, especially Asian American, it's been very difficult? Uh, it's been very difficult. Unfortunately, there are not enough Asian Americans that are registered with a national marrow donor program. To give you an idea, there's about 7 million Americans that are registered, and uh, less than 5% uh, than of those are, um, are Asian. About 7% of those are Asian. Uh, she, mom's, uh, uh, Michelle's mother is Vietnamese, her father is Chinese, and that makes it a little bit more difficult to find the correct match. So as a result, I know you guys are doing uh, drives on a regular basis. What's going on here in the Houston area? Well, uh, this has been the most rewarding part of this project, is that it started out at San Francisco, but now we have teams established in all the major cities from uh, LA to Miami to Boston to New York to Houston and Dallas, and each of the local chapters is trying to register as many people as possible. And you guys are doing it every Sunday at the Hong Kong uh, City Mall? Pretty much every Saturday and Sunday we're at the Hong Kong City Mall on Bel Air and Boone, and we try to register as many people as possible. It's a very simple process. And if people want to go out there today, they can. And tell us a little bit about, if you go out there, what do you actually have to go through? I mean, they, nobody draws blood or anything. Correct. It's much simpler than people think it is. Um, it really involves just a swab of a cheek of a mouth. I'm just going to demonstrate okay. very quickly. Um, it takes less than 10 minutes to do. We just take a little Q-tip and we um, swab the inside of the mouth. We do that in four quadrants, put it back in the envelope. That's it. It gets sent. And for people who register, this is not whether or not they match Michelle. I mean, obviously, that's what you guys would like, but it's helping communities as a, as a whole. Correct. Uh, I mean, the chance of one individual actually matching Michelle is actually pretty small. Um, the main benefit of this project is that as thousands of people get registered, um, they will be able to help someone else that's on the, on the transplant, another, that requires the uh, match at this point. And, and for donor registries, we talk here about Michelle because she's Asian American and there's such a lack, but it's really a problem for all minority groups. Correct. Uh, whether uh, whether the, the leukemia patient is uh, Latino, is uh, uh, African American or Asian, there's a severe shortage of people that have registered. And I think that's mostly through a lack of education into the process. What do you tell people? You say, register, it's not going to be painful, and it could make a difference? Or how, how do you sell it to people? Well, we just tell them that uh, it's going to take 10 minutes of your life at this point to register and to potentially save a life. That's very good. And good luck to you guys. Good luck to the bone marrow drive. And, of course, we wish the best for Michelle and her family. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well,